Hey guys, this is Mike from TechHog.com, and uh, today we're going to be giving you our first Android tablet review uh, for an app. Uh, this app is Tweetcaster HD Beta by the Hamart Company. Uh, we've reviewed a few of their other products, and um, I gotta say, I was checking at the market. And if you've read our review, which might have brought you here, um, you'll notice that um, they have a really nice, solid build for their apps. And like I said, it's it's still in the beta form. Um, but really does feel pretty solid and finished. Um, we had very few complaints about it. Um, one just had a little bit of a uh, color issue that I'll, I'll point out here a little bit. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's uh, go ahead and boot up the app. It's right here called Tweetcaster. And you know, here this is pretty much it. This is your this is your timeline. Uh, as I said, over here is going to be your personal information. Uh, this column here is going to be your uh, stream. Uh, as you can see, it's smooth, very smooth flowing. Um, down here is going to be your, little, your ad supported. If there is a premium or paid version, um, I would assume that this will be removed and this whole column will go all the way down. Um, but we'll kind of go through the review we did a little bit here. So uh, as you can see up here, this is going to be your, your personal icon. Tapping that brings you up to um, your ability to make a new account. Um, delete an account or add you know several other ones so you can actually switch between your uh, your accounts here um, here is your your settings and as you can see you can um, auto refresh it has your shaking on refresh some pretty cool little um, options there instapaper as we mentioned in the review uh, URL shortening imaging video services uh, here you can customize come in, you can make it dark, you can make your tweets dark, different colors, different font sizes. Um, so your options are, are, are really kind of robust when it comes to that. Um, here, obviously, you're going to have your number of followers, your who you're following, and your lists. Um, simply click on the little button, you can see a list of the people who you're following. What's nice is it kind of gives you a little bit, like here's Taco Bell, for instance, gives you their name. Oop, go back. Tells you yeah, their name their uh, actual name or their, their Twitter name, real name, and over here it tells you how many followers they have, how many they're following, and I keep tapping a button, and uh, how many lists they're a part of. So um, again, that's that's you know following, and then uh, this is who I'm following, and uh, the list of people here as well, and it keeps going and going, and then you can have your, your list. Um, timeline, obviously this is what it's going to come up when you first boot the uh, the app up. And um, you know it's nice. Here's your icons. The even the retweeted icon is large enough for you to even see what picture that is, um, which makes it really easy. Um, in here, if they have any kind of links, it'll actually give you a little bit of a preview page to the link that you're actually seeing, which is a really nice thing. Um, we didn't actually mention it in the written review, um, but is a really nice little feature. Um, again, if you want to click on someone, gives you a little bit about them and. Um, you know their profile and their tweets over here it tells you you know their bio um, it says uh, their web page if you want to go to that um, so again you know it's uh, you know pretty standard and um, so after that you go to your mentions and you know you can load up in here you can kind of see kind of flows the same way as the as the um, the timeline does um, again, showing you what page they're retweeting. Um, that's, like I said, that's kind of a nice little feature that it does there. And uh, messaging, again, works the same way. These are direct messages to you. Um, and you can click on these as well and see what someone wrote back. Whoop, too far. Um, favorites, these are tweets that you may have favored. You can put little stars over here if you want to keep them. And like I said, these are the page that I like, which is called My Tweets which is just showing you a history of what you've tweeted for the past, you know, several hours and days and uh, and so forth. Um, list, this pulls up a separate window. Um, it shows you lists that you follow, uh, which you can kind of see here. Then it goes to my list, which are lists that you've created, and then uh, lists that are actually following you. Um, so, nice little feature there as well. Um, up here, you know, my tweets, this this part here is going to tell you whatever page you're in. If you go back to the timeline, you'll see that it changes there. Um, refresh. 
Um, the app does a pretty good job of actually refreshing itself, as you can see, um, the last three minutes there. You can keep doing it if you want. Uh, search brings up a new menu here. You can search by trends. Um, you can type it up here. You can even actually save a search if you want to do that, uh, which is kind of nice. And then obviously compose. This gives you your compose window here. You can actually shrink the keyboard and see a longer version of your of your tweet. I don't think you're going to need that much room with only 140 characters, but you know. And uh, so over here, you, like I said, you can sign in with Facebook and uh, do your tw your updates through that. Um, here's your drafts. If you want to save something as a draft, you can do that. Um, if you haven't finished something, you can actually do your attaching here. Uh, attach from gallery, from the camera, from the video, from the camera, video, uh, from the ca or the gallery or video from camera. Um, you know your location settings and uh, shortened URLs are on or off. Um, so like I said, it's really smooth. It, it uh, doesn't really have any issues that I've seen so far. Um, the other thing I, I suggested in the review is you can see over here this green bar and it kind of makes the text here yellow. Um, I don't know if you can see if I can bring it a little closer. It um, really not the most appealing color compared to everything else. Um, the the app is like I said all kind of blues and grays and it kind of flows really nicely. Um, this is the only kind of part that really kind of stands out. Um, but you know, it's not the worst thing, and I'm sure these guys are probably going to change, make some changes before the uh, beta tag is removed. Um, there was a tweet by them that shows that they were working on some kind of a new uh, user interface a little bit, so they might even actually redesign quite a bit of it. Um, so we'll have to wait and find out for that. Uh, up here under your all tweets, I didn't mention this in the review, but you can actually search over here in your columns um, if any photos were posted. That can take a little bit of time depending on your connection. You can actually search by video, and you can search by links. Anything that has a link, um, it'll search by that as well. So, um, really nice feature. Um, again, this is Tweetcaster HD Beta, um, which is available for the Android 3.0 or 3.1 and plus, um, and is on the Android market. And it is a optimized uh, tablet uh, app. And um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you haven't uh, checked out the written review, check it out at techhog.com. And uh, I'm Mike, and hope to see you guys again soon.